Hi, everybody. This is Joanna. Thank you so much for um, tuning in today. And we wanted to um, create Ascension Wisdom and Healing Video, an activation and a clearing and a cleansing. As so many um, people are awakening and the, the beautiful shifts on our planet to higher consciousness and understanding all that we are as beautiful beings of light, creating matter, and understanding that the only truth and the guidance that we need is within as we're opening our souls to our higher self, um, living as the higher self, allowing the soul to live through us in all of its beauty and all of its glory, um, allows us to create a beautiful new experience within our realities that truly reflect who we are. The truth of who we are, the beauty of who we are, the infinite of who we are, the creativity of who we are, the intelligence of who we are is through our soul. Our soul is the infinite light that is source creator. All dimensions, all realms, all experiences that come to us and through us and for us in any one moment within and without. Remember, our soul is energy essence um, aligned with us in this particular lifetime to assist us and always support us, protect us and guide us and always to assist us in reflecting our highest creative evolutionary soul's expression. It's sometimes been called destiny. The creative expression of who we are as a soul, as a spirit, living as spirit. And oftentimes... Living as that spirit is the true self-fulfillment, is that true self-actualization and what people have also called ascension and awakening and, and self-enlightenment. Because it is only through the spirit that we grow. It is only through the spirit that we allow ourselves to reach higher intelligence from that higher mind. It is only through the spirit that our chakras become activated, releasing the densities and the programs through energetic um, projections, belief systems, paradigms, familial, akashic, and lineage energies that are not, um, are, not, are not worthy of the true essence of light that we are, we are becoming, the light body that we are becoming. Through light metatronic code, through light we are the Christic energies of, of all that is, the highest multidimensional expression of our vastness. And it, has, um, and, it, and it has been limited and threaded within various religions. But the Christic energy is our metatronic coding that allows us to be all that is. Continuously, um, amplifying an evolutionary, 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 whatever that word is, to become evolutionary within our existence of who we are. Constant evolving, constant changing, constant recreating of ourselves. And we are the manifestors of that as all masters have come to teach us and show us and emulate to us that we are the masters of ourselves. We're the masters of who we are becoming within and without how we vibrate within and know ourselves within and love ourselves within and honor the beauty of our soul, so too does our reality become that of that vibration. But it takes that we learn and we honor that when we're moving through our ascension of a cycle, our cycles of ascension and our transformation of releasing the densities, releasing what was, releasing patterns and habits and all of those things that kept us limited on little cycles and merry-go-rounds and stepping out of it and realigning with who we are as our highest truth and saying there's far more for us to create and to explore and express ourselves as a spirit because it's the infinite. We're connecting ourselves as the infinite, which we've always been, but we've never been taught, told or expressed or allowed ourselves to express ourselves as spirit because it's always been held outside of us in doctrine or defined packages or, or um, you know, little boxes that we've had to step in as we walk in and out of church. No, we are spiritual beings and we are spiritual essence. And the spirit in and of itself and our understanding of source creator, our understanding of, of the omnipresence was placed back in our ancient timelines within, within varying, varying and limiting sects of, um, of control and monetization. Um, which is fine, it's part of our experience, but the omnipresence of all that is source is allowing us to understand ourselves as all that is. We are the omnipresent, and we have created ourselves in matter form so we can begin to explore ourselves and express ourselves and experience ourselves as something different. It doesn't mean that anything that has been boxed in and doctrinated is not valid and true. It is, absolutely. It's a part of our human experience. The omnipresence is all true. Everything is true, and everything is valid, and everything is equal because that's source. But what we're saying is that the omnipresence of who we are is no, there is no glass ceiling, there is no box, there is no limitation. And so when we start at the infinite, when we start at the multidimensional allness of anything, then we allow ourselves to feel into our truth. Our highest truth is spirit. Spirit cannot be placed in a box. Spirit cannot be held in our clothes. Spirit cannot be placed in, um, in, um, in a section to say that 
when you're walking along the beach and you're just creating positive affirmations for you, that that is not in and of itself a prayer for your transmutation and alchemy from what you were a moment before your walk. So it's about our understanding the omnipresent is always with us. It's always within and without, as above, so below. It's always the presence of us. But how often and how many of us and how are we consciously co-creating in that? That requires us that we step outside of the limitations that we've held within our 3D vibrational programs that are really that. They're just codes of programming that we've taken on from our parents, from our schools, from our socioeconomic systems, so that we become more spirited in alignment of our allness, our oneness, that we are one with the all, we are one with everyone that we reflect ourselves in, those that we see in the street, those that we create challenges with, those that we create those beautiful experiences with, they're all aspects of who we are within our allness, so that we can sit back and say, what am I feeling about this experience, and let me get to my oneness within it. Whether it's a challenge, a trigger, and anger, whatever it might be, your oneness is within whatever is unfolding. And anyone that you might think that you want to separate from or judge or distance from is a part of you. And that's part of the self-acceptance and acknowledgement for you to heal it and love yourself whole. That's a part of honoring yourself as the beautiful soul that you are. All timelines, all realms, all bodies, all roles that you've ever played to honor it. And it's being shown to you through your cycle of ascension Am I going through a release right now and I'm really feeling like I just want to stay in and just honor my body and self-soothe? Because I'm going through these really profound emotional energies and I want to understand them. I want to process the stuff that doesn't suit me anymore. Lack of self, lack of self-belief, lack of your own beauty and your own creative gifts. Whatever it is that's coming to the surface, just allow it. Through the clarity of breath, through the clarity of intention, through the clarity of realigning who you are as source, not looking outside of you to define you it's okay that we look outside of us for that communion it's okay that we look outside of us for those um threading reflections and honoring of our oneness with our family but not to not to absorb it as your reflection not to absorb it as your truth because your truth is innate with you your truth is in that center of who you are and you get to dictate your reality through that your body your health your wisdom, your intelligence, all the gifts that you've carried in all of these lifetimes available to you through the center of who you are. The clarity of the beauty of who your soul is is through your intending and your honoring of it through the clarity of breath. And in most of our sacred texts about um, self-actualization and self-evolution is through breath because through breath we have those activated light codes that regenerate and renew our life system, that renew who we are as light, that renew who we are as God, that we love all that we are as that sacred breath to be reactivated in every moment that we breathe. And then to intend it with new affirmations of love and beauty and sacredness. I am the sacred vessel of source creator. I am the sacred vessel of intelligence and song and sound and creative exploration and creative experience. I want to experience myself anew and I get to do that. I get to be I get to be really happy about who I am. I get to be honored in who I am and I get to experience myself in all of these ways. And that's what we want for our children. We want to say, you are infinite creators. We're not gonna limit you in any one box that we were given from our parents and from our traditions. We wanna allow you to have full play in the playground that is earth. And that's the creator's message for humanity. We're at the precipice of something really profound and really exciting. So why box ourselves in and look to ourselves from definitions of the old that really limited us. It's limited us in every way, physically and mentally and emotionally and intellectually. And begin that beautiful, full announcement of who you are, that, that benevolent and that envelopment of who you are as light and love and all things. The omnipresent I am, the omnipresent I am within and without, as above, so below, my field is fully light. See, am I a case, see, am I a case, see, am I a I am a makatataka as, see an anakatataka as. Oh, I am not me, I am not me, I am not me, I am not me,
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and so our, our topic today is just honoring the beauty that your soul is. Just honoring the light just to come through you and live through you and be honored through you. That the source, crea source creator within the center of all that you are in all things, all moments, every breath, in between all spaces, spaces in between spaces and all that is. Everything that we think is material, all of it's illusory. It's just the source within us. The more that we allow ourselves to be this beautiful embodiment and this envelopment of this beautiful sacred vessel of light, the light of all that we are just flowing with the light of all that is. And you get to choose all is neutral, all is perfect, all is source. Without judgment, just step back and allow yourself to navigate all the neutrality. And you get to choose through who you vibrate and how you vibrate within of knowing you, of being you, and of allowing your authenticity to be you. That creative expression, that creative authenticity, that creative joy of who you are, Clearing all those densities that held you back in such suppression because your gifts were too weird and awkward for others to understand. Because your expression of who you were was too awkward and, and outlandish for others to understand. That's okay. You can send all those energies of judgment back out to the creator and send them within yourself of the Christ of all that you are to transmute those within you because your light within you is so profound. You can transmute anything just by changing it. Say, I don't choose to carry this anymore. Those were not my projections. They were not my beliefs. I loved creating myself and the blessing of who I was. And it's okay that not everybody will be okay with it. I didn't come here to satisfy and be okay with 7 billion people. I came here just to simply explore who I am and beauty and joy. And have fun doing it. We're meant to be fun. We're meant to have the joy of our own expression. We're meant to be okay with who we are as an experience. That's our experience. That's our soul's wish. The soul wants you to experience all energies and all experiences and not get too wrapped up in any, any and all of it. Just say, okay, that was a great expression, but now I choose this. Okay, that was a great experience, but now I choose this. Well, that was an interesting one. I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to watch and I'm going to observe. Well, that was great. I'm just going to watch over here now. We want you to understand that you are infinite experiences. Your soul wants that for its growth so that you can choose from the commander of who you are. Um, no, that's not my truth. I choose to be here. Aligning with all that you are is an intuitive blessing. And you're constantly being sent and receiving information and wisdoms and intelligences. And you're in alignment with your higher self. You're in alignment with God. You're in alignment with spirit and source. And you're always going to be exactly where you need to be. You're always going to have those in front of you that need to be in front of you for an activation or for a smile or for a gift or for a remembrance from another planet, from another cosmic timeline. It's all perfect. It's all beautiful. That's your soul acting and living with you. It's not just a one person body mint body experience. No, it can be if you so choose. And that's when we're being in, held in those limiting perspectives. You're more than the body. Your body is that beautiful sacred shrine and vessel of who you are as a soul. And so honor your blessed breath, honor your affirmations, honor the way you walk and dance, honor the way you sing, the honor the way that you are as holy Christ, honor the way that you are as a spirit of light and joy, honor your song and honor your gifts and honor your song and honor your gifts, honor the expression of you, honor the beauty of you, honor the blessing of you for there's a song for you that's riding this cosmic wave and will you surrender Will you allow to be your highest and your best? Will you allow yourself to be the blessed song of God, of source, of love, of a creative expression that only you know and only you can offer? Thank you. Hi, I'm a makatke, Sissy, I'm a makatka. Ah, I see a makatka, Sissy, I'm a makatke, she, I'm a makatka, makatka. My Allah, I am more than I am more Oh, 
Hi, I'm Amoka. Ah, la 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 who Thank you. So many groups of consciousness that were coming in there. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I'm just giving gratitude and peace and appreciation through sounds and songs of appreciation for all the consciousness groups that are assisting us become one with our inner and outer earth energies and the shamans and the oracles and all of the sacred tribes that are with us always harmonizing all of our energies as we all activate higher vibrational codes of light as we activate within and without and all that is the holy source creator thank you holy mother father as we enter into 5d Thank you, Holy Mother Father. Thank you. I should share my cup of the ass. I should share my we're just bathing and cleansing your fields we're just bathing and cleansing your fields all the densities that's held within your fields all the negative energies that are holding you back from honoring the beauty of all that you are we thank you all the teams and all of the beautiful energies that are helping us through sound and, and song and sacred light codes that break all the densities and calciums that are held within your fields and it's just good to tune in with all the beautiful vibrations of consciousness that allow all the light to come in, allow the light to come in as you're bathing and cleansing your fields a few times a day. And that's just through sitting through intention and just using your hands as the beautiful sacred vessels of all the light that they are. And with intention, my breath clears and cleans my fields. I'm being bathed with the highest light and the highest light codes that my body needs, that my fields need to allow me to feel light and vibrant and in love with who I am and in joy of who I am and exploration of who I am and thanking all of your ancestors and all of your teams that are with you at all times. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, the omnipresent working with us as within, so but without, as above, so below, for we are the omnipresent creating our realities through the love and the joy of our souls that allow us to recreate and bring forward our highest gifts and bring forward our highest intelligence for allowing us to live as a universal, beautiful beings, creating unity and peace and socio-altruism here upon earth taking ourselves completely beyond what was and yes things will 
feel and be and, and imagine ourselves in different and new ways. And it's meant to be. We're not meant to evolve being stuck in our old experiences of what was. It's okay to, to move through those minutiae. It's who we've been. And to take the best of what has been and come into a new experience of who you can. And we're always meant to be this beautiful burst of glorious creative exploration. And remember, all is perfect. All is perfect. Don't rush yourself to be any different or any in any other place as opposed to just being in love with who you are. The more that you love and honor who you are, the more available that you are to see what no longer serves you as repetition or pattern or density or limitation so that you can move within a beautiful, blissful experience of who you are and who you're always meant to be is joy. Every moment your joy and honoring your relationships, honoring your high vibrational connections with spirit in all ways that is Gaia, that is your angels and your tribes and your ancestors healing you and working on you morning, day and night. And aligning yourself with breath to the highest and the version of who you are as you're anchoring the highest and how we anchor the highest light, your intention of love and beauty and love and beauty and love and beauty and love and beauty, clearing your heart chakra, clearing your throat chakra. Remember your chakras are the beautiful essence of who you are as spirit. And you get to send your chakras light. You get to activate your chakras. You get to activate and clarify and cleanse. You get to put, clear your pineal and your crown. Bathing and cleansing all that I am is sacred light for I get to choose. My reality is my choice. My body and my health is my choice. And I send love and light to all. I love and love all my beautiful sisters and brothers that are from all planets, all realms. For everyone that you meet and everyone in your family as your celestial family are the angels within and without showing you and reminding you that we are all one. That we all come from the heavens. We are all masters. We are all angels. We are all celestial beings from other planets and other timelines. Creating a human body to remind ourselves of what we have forgotten. To remind ourselves of the depth of our love through forgiveness and compassion. To remind ourselves of how easily available we are to create new. So many new energies for us to create new, to live anew, to co-create new bodies and wellness and health anew. To know that the source creator, the heavens, the omnipresent, all that is energy and love and source light. Evolutionary codes everywhere. Everything, everywhere, all things infinite, all that is is constantly and always available to us. The light is constantly being bathed, but it's up to us to activate it and live as it. To be that free will, to be that will of the creator, to be that love of the mother and the honoring of who we are and be that excited sacred child to explore and dance and co-create, to live the beauty of your soul, to be the beautiful expression of your soul, to honor who you are and walk with grace and pride and allow that to be seen as the illumination for all children so they're not afraid to share their voice. So they know that their ideas and their concepts and where they have come from is going to anchor the highest beautiful light for our planet and beautiful potentiations that our, our, our generations need. So awaken, dear lighter ones, awaken to the beauty of who you are. Awaken to the gloriousness of who you are. Awaken to the joy and the song of who you are. For within you is the heavens. Within you is the beautiful essence of source and light and soul. That's all you need to renew yourself. I'm renewed with source light. I'm renewed with the father and the mother, the creators and spirit. I'm renewing my light and I'm anchoring who I am. I get to choose who I am. I get to choose my reality experience. I get to say what's right for me. I get to say who I want to untangle with and dance with. I get to create the space of who I am and where I am and where I go. Creation knows me. Creation knows me by my vibration and I get to work with it. I get to nourish it and I get to cultivate it every day. That's the beauty of who I am as a soul. I'm beyond what you can see within this physical experience in this beautiful physical shrine. For I'm a soul living and I walk with the heavens and the heavens walk with me and as my name is I am that I am. Beautiful and glowing. Beautiful and glowing. And anything that I've been through and every challenge that comes my way is a navigation for me to know that I can handle this. This is energy that I can handle and navigate through my guidance within, through the systems of love from who I am within and the heavens living through me. Constantly being guided here and guided there. To know that I am meant for the beauty and the grace and the love and the greatness that I've come to experience as me. For we all are. We all are. Each and every one of you are beautiful and grace. Each and every one of you have your own greatness. You have your own gifts. You have your own blessing. So seek within it. Renew yourself as the soul and the beauty that you are as love. See all beings as love because they're you. Everyone that you have a problem with is you. Everyone that you love is you. Everyone that you have trouble navigating around is you. Everyone that you have challenged with transcending and moving around is you. 
your soul has brought it for you to see and to reflect. How can I just accept and be love? How can I accept and allow? How can I accept and know that I can transcend this? There's gonna be those before you that will be a challenge for you to navigate around through acceptance and love and forgiveness and compassion. There'll be those that you'll call in so that you can stand in front of your power and say, no, I don't accept that anymore, I choose this now. Whatever your life lesson is in that moment, well, your soul will call forth those to stand in front of you, to know that they are your brother and your sister, they are your oneness, they might be your mother on another planet, they might be your father, they might be you in another frequency of life. That you've come to show yourself, can you love me? Can you accept me as all of you? This is the planetary experience, releasing subjugation, control, and greed, and judgment, and fall into love and oneness, because your soul is all of it. Whatever is your highest trigger is what you're here to accept and love. It's me. It's all me. So you can release the ideals that kept anything um, feeling ill. <laughs> Just release it. Surrender. I surrender that. I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. Once I acknowledge it, once I accept it as a part of me, once I allow it to be a part of my story and I embrace it, because it's my soul's journey, I've got to embrace it all. I'm not going to damn it and deny it and push it aside. It's part of my soul's journey. I'm going to accept it. It's a part of my story, source. I get it, I get it, I get it. I honor that I had a belief within me that I wasn't good enough. I had a belief within me that, I, that held me separate from my greatness. I held a belief within me that you were not here within me and I wasn't worthy to walk with you, but I am. I'm walking with you right now. I'm speaking with you right now and all of my life and all my reality comes to life through you, through me, with the love that I hold of you. And I get that now because I get to choose. I don't need to defer myself and I don't need to define myself and I don't need to say, oh, I'm gonna be that projection that you thought I was, no. I get to be who I am and I get to say for what goes in that fine print. I get to say for how I negotiate. I get to say for how I would choose to work and how I choose to work with others so that it's of the highest integrity so that the vibration I honor is of the highest light through that integrity and self-honor and self-love. That's benevolence. As I hold myself in the most high, that's the energy vibration that I offer out. And that's important because I want to attract a beautiful soulmate. I want to attract beautiful people to work with. I want to attract those that really care about humanity. I want to attract those that want to put in, the, that want to put in their truth and authenticity to work with the new energies, to work with the new grids and say, hey, we've got this humanity. We're going to create some benevolent systems. We're going to infuse some really great light because you guys are all worth it. You're our family. We're all are served, all are served, all are served, all are served. Socio-altruism. We all give, we all receive, we all share. We all give, we all receive, we all share. And the times and the limitations of the haves and have nots is over. It just is. It's time for things to be recycled. It's time for the change to happen. It's time for all to have their voices heard. It's time for the greed and the control to be sifted out and to be released because the all are required to be benefited. All. No more disenfranchisement, no more subjugation. No more control and no more greed. It's all being sifted out. Place it on the table and just bathe it in love. And so what we wanted to offer today, <clears throat> the beautiful um, experience of, um, I wanted to share beautiful new cards that I have. And we're offering something really special for those that, that feel really intrigued and attracted to our energy vibrations through healing and co-creating and manifesting you as spirit and as a soul. We're going to offer um, um, weekly um, um, we're weekly as um, world ascension healing classes and every week every Saturday at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time um, we're going to gather and you send me um, a donation um, minimum of $22 um, USD you send me a donation of um, $22 USD and it's going to be for an hour and that will have um, we're going to keep the classes as small as possible so that everyone can get in as much questions and connection with their teams and their guides um, through these classes. So it will be one hour long every Saturday, starting next Saturday. So welcome spring. And of course, anybody that understands and knows our work and knows our um, Christed vibrations, the Christ Council, Councils of Light, the Heavenly Councils, Galactic Federation, Star Councils, the Heavenly Mother and Father, all the creators, Gaia, Elohim, the Brotherhoods and Sisterhoods of Light through the Melchizedek Order. Thank you. <clears throat> and of course, all of our celestial families from this planet and other planets, the Omnipresence, the Multiverse, anyone that you bring with you has an activation through your destiny and through your experience of who you are. 
And so that's why we want to keep the classes small so that we have enough time at the end to answer as many questions as possible so you can connect with your teams. And these classes will um, bring forward weekly um, ascension wisdoms, activations through sound and light language, um, specific to healing traumas, healing karmic timelines, healing um, abuses, um, the things that you find most challenging to move through, to love yourself whole, to honor yourself. Um, and this is for the healing of the family. Um, and we will be offering techniques and tips that I offer in all of my global webinars that are only offered in global webinars on how to um, create activation of your omnipresence within your field, how to create light activations within your bodies and fields to co-create those energies within your fields and your home and to begin to understand and manifest yourself as the master that you are, allowing yourself to be the, um, the alignment and the director of energy and light for the highest benevolence in the light program that you are choosing to be a part of. And so that's alchemy, really learning how to alchemize your reality, really learning to know that as you are love and so too, all your reality can choose to be that as well. Through the healing of your past traumas, through the healing of the abuses, use those as your most powerful tools and steps to be the alchemizer and to be the master that you are to transmute. So we're going to be offering those classes every Saturday. And those that you don't necessarily have to have any deep traumas that you want to have healed, but because of the mass awakenings for humanity, it will be those that are really having challenges to transcend certain issues. And so we're going to keep each week for the purposes of healing, co-creation and manifestation, understanding that you are alchemy, understanding that you are a soul, understanding your self-love. And so there will be those self-love sessions. There will be the working with your bodies, working with breath and activation of source creator and your teams that you come with to receive in every week, you will receive those special activations and massages in your fields and your bodies of the highest light codes uh, through the crisp vibrations that we offer. Um, and so it's really, really exciting. So it will be a weekly healing global class. Um, what do we call it? We called it um, World Ascension Healing Classes. So there'll be ascension topics to understand who you are as a multidimensional soulful being, how to heal and um, alchemize what needs to be released and alchemized, understanding why you carried it and allowing it to be a part of your wisdom and your intelligence to build yourself as a master for your inner strength, your inner clarity, your inner confidence, so that you walk in the beautiful grace and the dignity of who you are and you get to choose through clarity, through confidence and through knowing of who you are as a soul, your inner guidance with source creator, how to create those tips of self-care and self-nourishment and self-love so that you become the master of your reality. So we're really excited to offer those classes. And so they will start next week, next Saturday, um, 11 a.m., same time. Um, and then the links are in the PayPal link below, um, the, the donation link on $22. Um, and um, once you send me the payment, I will send you out the link for the class. And the, it'll become first come, first serve. So those that want those, those healing activations, those that really are excited about understanding who they are as multidimensional beings of light, as a soul, how to call in your soul, how to call in your guides, and how to call in your teams so that you can start working with you and your teams, which has been really profound for me. Um, and we're going to talk about all of these, um, all of these ascension um, tips and explorations on how really unique it is that you begin working with your targeted teams so that you can begin to build that camaraderie and that communion so that you're receiving what you need and you're giving what you, what you need and aligning yourself with your highest destiny. You're aligning yourself with being able to know that no matter how tough anything can be, regardless of your situation, you want a new job, you want a new abundance, you want a new love, loving yourself above all, that you can co-create that and you can start realigning with who you are as a spirit, realigning with who you are as a master, realigning with who you are as multidimensional and preparing yourself for your higher vibrational families and, and celestial contacts. And so those will be a part of understanding and owning yourself as a beautiful soul. So we thank you, dear lighted ones. Um, and so we're really excited. So thank you. So join us every Saturday for our world class ascension and healing. Um, and it will include an ascension topic on healing, some of the most difficult traumas and abuses and why. And then we're going to go to activations, clearing and cleansing the fields and the bodies. We're going to work on breath um, and um, teaching how to alchemize and be the alchemy of you as love. Um, because love is the most powerful experience and frequency in our universe, and it is the catalyst of all evolution. 
And so we thank you, dear lighter ones. We love you so very much. And we rainbow you. We rainbow you. We rainbow you. You're a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul. Go outside and connect with Gaia. Love Gaia. Love Gaia. Love Gaia. She feels you and she honors you in the heavens. Love you and celebrate you. We love you. Bye. We rainbow you.